Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to customize the drop-down menu in Divi. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see what Divi offers right out of the gate. When you have an item in your sub-menu, you're gonna see this arrow right here, which I've showed you how to customize in a previous tutorial. And then by default, you'll see your menu items here, and generally you'll see this blue line up at the top and you can, you can change the color of that in your theme customizer settings, but unfortunately Divi doesn't give us too many options in a theme customizer to really customize the drop-down menu and make it our own. So I'm gonna show you how to have some fun with this and customize it, and I'm, we're gonna come up with this look. So here's a site where I have this to where the sub-menu has kind of boxed, like a boxed look to the items, and you'll see when you hover over them, they change color. This one has a nice drop shadow effect where it kind of makes the, the item pop. And in my business site, I have a similar look to where when you scroll over these, you're gonna see these highlight in blue. So I'm gonna show you how to come up with this look. It's quite simple, just a few lines of CSS, and we're gonna be off and running. So if you've seen any of my previous tutorials, you know exactly what we're gonna do next, and we are going to right click and inspect element. I use Chrome and I use the same methods for all of my customizing here. So I did a right click and inspect the element on this menu that has the drop down, and you're gonna see when we do that, that this has a sub menu. Inside the sub menu has each little element, but it goes even further. If we click inside this element, you're gonna see the actual text. So when I scroll over this, you can see this one is service one. You can see that text right in here. So this is what we're gonna adjust. You can adjust the box outside of it or the actual link. And so that's what we're gonna do. You can see by default that this has a class of top menu, list list a or, or l-i-l-i-a which means it's a link so we're going to go ahead and start here and what we're going to do is we're going to give this a border similar to what i showed you in the other sites we're going to do solid one pixel solid white let's see how this looks so now when i scroll over this boom you can see that border took immediately now it was kind of close together so i want to give this some space in the bottom so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a margin bottom and let's do uh, 10 pixels, let's see how that looks. Not too bad, not too bad. I could probably use just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and do 15, that should give us, give us a nice even look. And there we go, so it looks completely different already. Let's go ahead and center the elements here. I'm gonna do text align, I just typed in T and there we go, text align. We're gonna do center, and there we go. You can see that has a completely different look. Same thing that I have here basically the same code I use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this entire chunk of code, we're gonna go into my style sheet. Now, quite a few people have asked about how I do my style sheet. I am gonna put a tutorial together on that soon, but essentially I just go through FTP and I just open my style sheet right up in my FTP client. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is when we type in this code, we can actually delete everything that's already in there uh, this code knows that it's gonna be 200 pixels wide and it knows it has that padding. So we're just gonna type in, we're just gonna put in what is new. So I've go, I went ahead and put that in there. Let's go ahead and save and refresh. Okay, and now when I hover over that, we should see the border and the centered text and everything. And there we go. So it looks better already. Now the next step that we wanna do is we wanna give this a nice hover over state. So again, we're doing inspect element. Now what's kind of tricky is when you're messing around with the sub menu, you have to hover over it for it to pop up. I don't know of another way. If somebody does, feel free to mention that in the comments below. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna look at the sub menu and we're gonna dive into each little element. So you can see right here, if I click the actual link, the A, you can see the, uh, the text that I just put in there. Now, this does not have a hover over state yet, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. First things first, I wanna kinda of figure out what I wanna do. What I would like to do is when you hover over these, I want the background to be white, and I want the text to be a purple, to kinda of have a similar look to my site, to where when you scroll over, it's gonna have a nice background color, except it's gonna be like this one to where the text color is gonna change. So let's go ahead and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a nice purple. So I'm actually gonna look at this color here and I'm gonna go ahead and find the purple that I'm using in the top header. Now, I'll tell you what, before we do that, we need to go into our style sheet and I'm gonna give this a hover over state. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all this code, except I'm going to give it a hover over state. And again, this already knows it's gonna pull that code, so we don't need any of that but I do wanna give this a color. Now, what color do we wanna do? We wanna do this purple, so I'm gonna copy that, 
go back into our style sheet. We're gonna go ahead and save that. And I want the background of this to be just, let's just do white. We'll do background white now let's see what this looks like this is the understate this is not the hover over i just want to make sure this works and there we go so we know that white's going to work so i'm going to go ahead and take background white and put this in our hover state and since our border up top since that color is white that should look perfect with this because it's going to blend right in seamlessly so i saw that that saved let's go ahead and refresh now when i scroll over services we should see the border with center text, and now when I scroll over those, we should see a white background and purple text. And boom, there we go, it's that easy. Now, you will notice, very similar to some previous tutorials that I showed you, as Divi generally has a hover over state of transparency. So what I wanna do is, I wanna adjust the opacity to make sure this is sitting at one so it doesn't go transparent. So I'm gonna do opacity one, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that knows that we don't want any transparency whatsoever because if I look in here, there's probably somewhere in here, there's probably gonna be an opacity. There we go, right here. The actual menu itself has an opacity of one. So being that I just put this opacity one important, this should make it so we hover over and there's no transparency. So let's take a peek. There we go, hover over, white, purple, and it should be full color. Boom, there we go, easy peasy guys. So you can see just a few lines of CSS completely changes the look at this. Now there's just a couple more things I wanna show you. Again, you can go in here to your theme customizer. Let me back out of inspect element here. You can go into your theme customizer and you can do a few tweaks in this, the sub menu here. So we can go to uh, second, oh, that's not secondary. We're gonna go to primary menu and you can see right down here, okay the drop down menu line color. You can change that right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that in CSS in case you wanna mess with the width and just kinda of get a little more custom. So yet again, we're gonna go ahead and inspect element. I know it's a shocker. And we're gonna look at the sub menu. Now you'll notice right when I did that, the sub menu class has a lot of settings that we can have some fun with. This is where that border top is. So let's say I wanna change the color there. Again, you can go into your theme customizer, or I could go in here and I could make it that purple, see what that looks like. Yeah, that's all right, but what I wanna do is I actually wanna take that all the way down. I generally do this for most of my sites. I'll make it zero pixels. That way it kinda of has that look, but I feel like there's a little bit of gap here. So what I'm gonna do, and this is pretty cool, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna give this a margin top of let's say negative, let's try 15. That should bump that up nicely. Now check this out. With that negative 15, you can see that that kind of pulled these menu items up and it almost made it flush here. I think we could probably give that like a negative 20 and that should almost bring that flush with that line at the bottom of the menu. There we go, that looks perfect. So, you know, just a few tweaks like that and it looks completely different. So, we're gonna go ahead and take this sub menu class right here. And again, we're just gonna delete everything that we did not touch since that code already knows it's there. We wanna reduce as many extra lines of CSS as possible for load times. So I've got that in there, we're gonna save and let's see what we're looking at. We should see the nice border effect, hover over color, and you can see again, this menu is tweaked and pretty customized. So that's it guys, just a few lines of CSS and it completely looks different. Now again, you're probably gonna ask about mobile. Let's see what this looks like on mobile. No change right there, but if you do wanna customize this a little more, let's say we wanna take that blue bar off on mobile, I can go ahead and look in here and again see that this has a mobile class. It's like a separate class. So we're gonna do that same thing. We're just gonna drop that down. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and copy this code right here so we don't forget anything. So this is the mobile, and I might even make a note right here. I might might call this section out and say submenu mobile. Let's go ahead and save that. And again, we're gonna take out the code that we have not customized. So we're gonna drop that. And the last thing I wanna do on mobile is I wanna center these. I think that's, that could look pretty cool. So you can see we went into the actual element itself. You can see this has a mobile menu list A, list link. We're gonna text align and see if this will center. And there we go. 
Pretty cool right there. It looks pretty cool centered. Now, when you have a sub menu, um, that'll jump it over even further. But for the sake of this tutorial, because you could go in and you could adjust the padding, and um, I'll link to a code that shows you how to cover these extra items up and unless you click it. Uh, it's just a little integration code you can put in there. So I'll link to that, but this is a good example of how you can just basically tweak your, uh, your mobile menu as well. So let's go ahead and take this. Whoop, we're all over the place here. Let's, uh, let's try this again. We're gonna take this little section of code drop it in our style sheet and again we're just going to want to keep the text aligned center and there we go guys so let's go back out here let's just make sure everything's looking slick and looking nice there we go now look at mobile and there we go it has those settings in there i'll zoom in so you can see this a little better and there we go easy peasy guys so i hope this has helped again this is just kind of the starting point you can really customize these as much as you want these are a couple examples of sites where I took the same look and just kind of tweaked them. You can give them box shadows. You could mess with the width and the padding. I mean, you can really make this your own. So let me know if this has helped, guys. Otherwise, have fun customizing your drop-down menu in Divi. Cheers, guys.